Man, how did he make 340 million before he was 26? TV's sexy secret millionaire reveals the secret to his success. Plus, first, your hosts, Mike Jarek and Juliet Huddy. Still ahead. Why would someone worth 100 million agree to live on $14 a day? Meet the secret millionaire with a heart of gold. Still to come. His name means gift from God. And ladies, you may agree. Find out why secret millionaire Gorbaugh Shalhal is more than just a pretty face. Oh. For sure. By the time our next guest reached the ripe old age of 26, he had already made that dream come true a hundred times over. His first big idea came when he was just 16 years old. It was an internet advertising business. Two years later, Gurbash Shahal sold his company, Click Agents, for $40 million. My name is Gurbash Shahal, and my friends call me G. The teenage entrepreneur who immigrated to the U.S. from India looking like this soon transformed himself into this and has gone on to make many more millions. I know what it's like being poor. He sold his second company, Blue Lithium, to Yahoo for $300 million. Now Shahal is currently developing his third business and he has a show on Fox called The Secret Millionaire. I'm looking forward to my journey. Please welcome wow. the author of The Dream from Secret Millionaire, Garage Shahal. Good to have you here. Well, thank you for having me. First of all, just clarify this. You're single? <laughs> yes. Why? <laughs> I haven't worked out yet. Haven't found the one. I have a friend down in, uh, she's the anchor in Good Day, uh, Good Day Atlanta in uh, Atlanta. Her name's Suchita. Oh, you guys are already hooking me up, all she, right? <laughs> she, she's gorgeous. She is. All right. All all right. Right. Okay, so we're done matchmaking. <laughs> what, what does your name mean? It uh, means uh, gift from God. <laughs> I, I think I, a lot of people would agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Could you give me a gift from, uh, uh, from anyone I, at this point? I, I don't know a God that well. But, uh, <laughs> uh, how, what did you buy? At, at eight, let's say at 18, you got all this money. What did you buy? Well, the first thing I did is I took care of my parents. And Good then, for you. And uh, <laughs> once that was, you know, once they were happy, uh, I got all the toys I wanted, so I got the Lamborghini, the Ferrari, the Bentley, et cetera, et cetera. And then I bought my place recently Man. last year, so. No Maybach? Nah. <laughs> I, I downsized to one car. I, I, don't, I don't really like driving that much. Oh, my God. Now, what, what do your parents think? Because, I mean, you've had a tremendous transformation in your look. Um, more traditional look, and now you're looking a little chic and sophisticated. <laughs> I mean, uh, what do they think of this? Well, you know, my parents are very religious. They came from, they brought that with them when, when, when we came from India. So part of the struggle was them adapting to this, uh, you know, country, the culture, and kind of me figuring out my own identity. And that's kind of what I did at 18. So tell us a little bit about this show, Secret Millionaire. What, what's the process here? You go into a community. Will you explain it? Sure. It's, uh, I went undercover yeah. in a community, and I basically kind of lied to everybody that I was doing a documentary on a neighborhood and probably won't even air. So everybody was still, uh, uh, you know, openly talking about hmm. uh, who they were, sure. you know, their struggles, the community. And I ended up sp uh, spending a lot of my time on uh, two charities. And so the show talks about me individually connecting with those people. And then at the end of the show, me revealing myself and saying, hey, by How the way. How do you choose get who gets the money? Uh, it's not about choice. It's really who I feel touched uh, my heart the most, so it's a really an right. emotional connection to the person. What a wonderful show. So you actually show. give away your own money. Your own money. Yeah. And what? How much money are we talking about? I gave away a little over a hundred thousand dollars. Wow, that's awesome. Well, listen to this. We're nice people. <laughs> no. We have two teen inventors here looking for some entrepreneurial advice from you. First, Russell Moore is the winner of the 2007 Buy Kids for Kids Award for his Waterworks toy. Okay, let me see how this works. Explain what it does. Explain what it does. <laughs> it's an apparatus that kids wear uh, when they play tag. And instead of just tagging the person, instead you pull this here. You pull this thing and, and what do you have on soaked, the back? They get soaked wet. Oh, there's water bottles back here. Yeah. So we're playing football, tag football. I chase you down and then I uh -oh. yank oh. on this. Oh! <laughs> Nicholas.
Nicholas. And Nicholas, uh, for Nario, has invented over 20 things, including these burn-free oven mitts. And they both have questions for you, for you. So, Nicholas, what's your question? My question is, how can teens like myself use the internet as a tool to further themselves and to achieve their goals? That's a good question. Well, I think the internet is probably the best invention since sliced bread. You know, we've been able to do so much with it, and I think that uh, the fact that you can put your product out there and put yourself out there and take away the stereotypes that the business world normally comes with, it gives you a free-for-all to really go ahead and uh, connect with future customers, connect with future employees all in once, and uh, you know, you don't have to be a teenager, you can be whoever you want. Well, G's episode of Secret Millionaire is going to be airing on Fox. It's on Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Good Thank job, you. congratulations. Yeah. Really good show. The premiere episode, by the way, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Coming up next, what is the most searched news story of the year? What does it say about our society when we come back? Oh, man. Wait to hear this.